And so from the last video, y'all seen that I went to Arbor Freight trying to get a motor stand and none was available. It won't be available for like another week or so. So kind of waiting on that. I've been scouting for some motors or even buying a full car, just pull the motor out of that, but I'd rather not. I just rather just give me a motor. So I had some good leads on some motors, but I don't know, it's like when you're trying to contact somebody, especially on Facebook Marketplace or something like that, trying to meet up to go uh, buy something, for some reason, it's like no one want to respond. I'm like, yo, I got money. You got a product for me to sell. Just sell it to me. I have a motor lined up and I'm just waiting for them to confirm so I could, uh, I got to rent a truck. I have no truck, nothing to move this motor around with. So hopefully I can get this done within the next two days or so. So there's a car meet. I forgot who it's with. I think it's Swerve or something like that. So we'll go check it out. Don't oh lord. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My message is little. So today is a long day. I started out of the gym, get my swole on, and then um, got home, got a few hours rest. Today, we got some good news. I uh, got a motor for the 535XI, pretty low mileage. Well, as low as you could get for this platform, I had like 101,000 miles on it, to say. It's a six bolt. Uh, I gotta go ahead and, I haven't taken the flywheel or the clutch off the old motor to see if it was a six or eight bolt. I believe it's an eight bolt, but we'll see. So I got a good price on the block, so I'm just gonna go ahead and clean it up, refresh it, gaskets, seals, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, at least we have some progress on this uh, build. All right, so got the motor off the hoist finally. So it's sitting on the tire. So that's how I'm pretty much gonna transport the tire and um, strap it down and then strap it to the truck. So what's keeping me is the engine stands are out of stock. So I gotta wait till it comes back. It should be back by the end of this week so I can finally put it on the stand. But this truck I rented, got quite a bit of space. So good for what it is. Got my tire, some chain, some uh, wipes just in case, and some straps. So between all of this, we should be able to get this thing hauled away easily. Go pick up the motor right now, and I'm a little nervous in a sense because I never really went ahead and picked up a motor in a car or something like that. Usually, I just have it shipped, or somebody just drop it off, or something like that. But in this case deal's too good and I gotta go pick this thing up. So I'm like a few minutes out and mad traffic right now. All right, so I got the motor, I'm excited. Uh, it's loaded up and just gotta drive it home safely now. So I'm trying to beat four o'clock traffic or should I say five o'clock traffic. I don't wanna get stuck in it. Well, it kind of will work in my favor since I don't got a speed or nothing or keep, hinder the flow of traffic. Back at the house, uh, pretty nice trip. Nothing happened, shoot, the motor didn't even move or nothing. So I'm happy about that. So I just went ahead and started cleaning up the floor right now uh, before I go put this motor down right here. So this is how it was strapped up. I used two tires. Dude, I got it off and gave me a bigger tire. It's like a truck tire. I was going to put on this one, but it was a little bit unsafe. So 
put on the truck tire and then have this one here just in case to like strap it up. I'm just using three straps and pretty much putting it across to put the pressure down on it. And it did not move a bit, so that's pretty good. Engine is out of the truck now and clean up the truck and all that stuff so I can return it. But now I gotta go ahead and wait for the engine stands to come back in stock. So I'll get two of them, put them both on um, engine stands and then start tearing that one apart. And pretty much taking the parts that I need to go ahead and transfer over here. So taking all this fuel rail, the valve cover and all that stuff. That one on there is pretty much new. All right, so like, comment and subscribe and see y'all in the next one.